here. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I hand make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for 10 years now. And if you haven't already, please go like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. In today's video, I'm going to be making a dress. I'm not really sure <laughs> what is going to happen, really. I'm going to start today, but then really, I think it's mostly going to be tomorrow's video that I'm going to be actually making it because today I've just got a little bit too much on and I've hurt my shoulder. I actually can't move it up above like here, like that hurts a lot. And I can't, okay, from here, I can't go up, like that's stuck. So yeah, I can't really move my arm. I'm trying to rest as much as possible. I'm thinking today I'll just sort of plan out what I'm making, pre-wash the fabric and then print out like what I need to do and maybe do like the mock-up and then tomorrow I'll actually work on it. Plan is to make the gingham dress. So I have a dress that I want to wear for Good Friday, which is Easter, like Easter weekend. Uh, Cause I go to like a family friend's house and we have like a big Easter egg hunt. And I, I can just see myself in this like beautiful gingham dress. I just need to find maybe a pattern first and whatnot, but these are the sort of like colors. So I've got all these gorgeous colors. I want to do like a, a sort of like almost a patchwork one. I am thinking though I might try and do another dress first in not patchwork because that way I know what I'm doing uh, with the dress. I don't know, I have like an idea in my head and I'm hoping it's gonna be able to be executed the way I want it to be. But I do need to wash all these materials first because they haven't been washed and I don't want them to shrink on me. I get this question so much on my channel. Do I wash, I'll pre-wash my materials, like all these ones. I don't uh, because they're being made into scrunchies. People don't generally wash their scrunchies. And if they do, like it's gonna be fine. They're not gonna like shrill up and like be unusable. It's just a lot easier for me. It would be a waste for me to do that uh, with my collection. The stuff that I'm making into actually wearable items for myself, I do want to give it the best chance possible and I know that like especially cotton does shrink and the way I wash it I, it would probably shrink because I do use hot water and whatnot like I'd have to wash it in cold and then remember to wash it in cold and all this other stuff so yeah and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to actually assemble it but yeah I also need to find the pattern that I want to do and then print it out yeah I'm hoping next week to do this series like the first one I'm really excited to see what will be the first to pop out I'm hoping it's not going to be a dress because I've just made fun this week but there's so many different little things in there I've also bought more bowls, so thank you so much. Um, I had so many people message me and like send me links and stuff to these little bowls. I'm hoping they're the same size or like, you know, able to be used in this. It looks like it. They are blue though, which wasn't really a vibe for me, but that's okay. Cause I have purchased another one of these in the blue version. So I'm gonna have a pink one and a blue one. The pink one's for the YouTube channel to do like the bonus videos um, where like how, put a coin in and we'll see what pops out and I just thought that would be a fun idea um but with the blue one I'm going to start doing lives and if you comment your order number we'll like spin it and see what you get like you get like a free scrunchie or a free bow you could have like I saw some people do like double the order so I could even do something like that or like a free voucher yeah stuff like that so I wanted to try and do that because it'll be fun I do want to try and do more live videos and like be more involved with the community that I'm growing. It's just really hard, I guess, because in the same breath, I have taken a step back and trying to only do like a nine to five, limiting my hours. And we'll see how it goes. I have decided I'm gonna cut these in half because there is so many meters here. I forgot like just how much I ordered because I ordered one meter of each. Like for a full length dress, really I shouldn't need more than three meters. I think I've got like nine meters here. So I'm just gonna cut them, like just snip it off practically and just wash the parts which I will be making into a dress.
I wouldn't mind making this whole one into a dress. I don't know if it'll be enough fabric, but I might just wash that whole lot. I'm hoping none of these will run. <laughs> like, if any, oh, I don't think they will. Cause I'm just chucking them in the normal wash. I'm not really gonna do anything different to the laundry and see. Because this dress is just kind of so easy to make, um, I'm not going to buy a pattern for it, but I am going to look at, I guess, a video on YouTube and see what people are recommending and like how they're doing it so then I'm not going in blind. I found this one from the Essentials Club. It's a DIY tiered flowy dress with tie straps. So I'm thinking this one will be good. I'm just going to measure bits and pieces, I guess. So then I know how much I guess to cut. Okay, so I've just finished watching the whole video. It's so, so super easy. And I've actually practically done the exact same dress already with the first dress I made back in December. I'm pretty much just going to be doing the same front that I did, but I'm just gonna be doing the back this exact same and then just having a little bit more gap here. Um, so I won't need a zip and I won't need anything like that. So it's just gonna be quite flowy, which is what I'm aiming for. And I love the big um, straps, so I'm gonna be doing that as well. I pretty much could just use the same pattern I did the last time, but I do remember it being a little bit not the best. It was, um, like I sort of messed it up. And then the height, I'm thinking, I like to have things sort of like covering quite a bit of my chest. That bow is sort of like really in the wrong way, isn't it? Um, and probably down to my ribs. So I'm thinking about nine, nine inches perhaps. And then for the straps, I do like them quite thick. So I'm thinking probably a two inch strap, which means I'd have to do a four inch inches, but then I need to add an extra inch for the um, seam allowance. So I'm thinking about five inches. And then as to the length, I'd probably do it the WOF of the fabric, I'll be honest, because I do like them quite long. I'm gonna stay between 25 and 30 inches. Just depends on the fabric and how much. Like if it's, if I've only got like 28 inches, I'm not gonna try and like cut it differently to make it. So that's not, I'm not too concerned. And then I just need to kind of like cut in um, like a little angled part. Wouldn't need much, I don't think. And then, yeah, I practically just do it how, exactly how I did it last time. Now I will need to go from the bottom of my ribs and measure this down. I want it to be about 40 inches long. So about 15 to 16 inch per panel, which is good because I think that's almost exactly how much I cut off. <laughs> it would be very close to anyway. All right, I've just figured out all the measurements and stuff. So I'm gonna go see how long, how much longer these materials have. Cause I feel like I can really smash this dress out today if the stuff gets dry. Okay, I've just pulled out all these from the washing machine. I was hoping I wouldn't have to um, iron them, but I think I will because they're a bit, yeah bent out of shape. I've also read some people like to overlock. I do not do that, but some of them might not even need to be ironed. This one came out fine, like super straight actually. And it looks like nothing has ran. This one shrank heaps though, I think. I used to wash all the fabric for like the face masks that I did back in 2020 and then iron it all. <laughs> Took so long. I do really need to do that with the materials that I know that I'll be using to make stuff out of though. Cause I've got a whole box of I wouldn't say whole box, but I do have quite a few materials that I do want to make bits and pieces out of. And it'll just be easier if it's all washed, ready to go, than me having to do this and sort of waste half a day on it. This one came out pretty good. So I might wash the, um, I've got like white ones, like white pieces of white fabric in there that I really wanted to make into some white dresses. I've got two that I want to do. It'll be interesting to see how much fabric I actually need for this dress.
so I've finished ironing all my fabrics. I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to see how quickly I can make these dresses because I still have so much to do today. I've actually ended up cancelling the market I was going to do tonight because the weather, it's like 30 degrees today, 36 tomorrow and 38 on Sunday. I, I honestly want to cancel the whole lot. Okay, so I wrote little measurements here. How long is this? 55. Eight. I can do that one. I'm thinking I'm going to cut out these big pieces first. So I'm just cutting out the tiers at the moment. I've cut like these, which will be the panels for the tiers. I'm hoping I have enough fabric, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to do a bit of the top first. Oh, I'm uncertain whether to do it like this height or a little bit longer. Oh, I don't know. I'm doing it by 19 and a half. I'm very similar measurements to this video, but I just kind of want mine a little bit looser as well. So we need two pieces for the front and I'm going to do two pieces for the back. I'm thinking I won't have enough fabric to make a super maxi dress. I think what I'll do is I'll just do the two tiers rather than three. Um, so I'll still have the front bodice part and then I'll have two tiers after that. I'm just debating whether to use this panel for tiers or use it for the double up here. Because I could possibly just use like another fabric to double this up like another cotton fabric for the lining or I do have a heap of mask fabric which I might have white that's been pre-washed just debating I don't know what to do because I'm like I feel like I'm just not going to have enough now I'm scared to cut anymore because I don't want to mess it up so I do have white that's been pre-washed so I think I might use that as the lining see what I can do here so I think I'm just going to have to make it uh, a little bit less gathered. So I'm doing the first here at 24 inches. So that's like the front part and then I'm doing a back side as well. So there's that piece and then this is tier number two which should be around 30. Yeah just under 30. So that's tier number two. I'm going to cut this exactly the same, so just cut the 24 off. So these should be the same. So that's tier 1, tier 2. And then I still need to make straps and another one of these. So will I be able to fit that? I will. So if I cut that at I think I did 10 was it yeah so I'll cut about 10 inches off this so I probably won't even need to use that double layer with that white I'll just do the same color how much is this again almost 30 or oh, one two three four straps oh I don't know if I should <laughs> brain not braining Unless I do the straps a little bit smaller, I might just do that. Okay. Oh my god, I'm cutting it. I'm scared. Make sure it's about as straight as possible though. Ah, I've done it. Okay. So that's for the straps. These pieces need to be, I think, 19 and a half. So that's the two front panels, well four technically, and now I'm going to do the straps which I'm thinking, where's the end of this? I'm just going to cut this off. It's just under eight. That's still fine because I mean my 
I won't really need that much seam allowance. So that's good. I've got the straps. And I was going to do them quite long. So I'll just cut these off. And now I have to like try and cut it inwards, which is going to be so interesting. Yeah. Now I need to work out where I want it to go to. I think I'm really like the same. I'm probably the same size as this girl. Because <laughs> she said she did 10 inches, which, yeah, sounds about right. Before I start dipping down. This part's very easy for me, considering it's practically like making a scrunchie. I just need to change my thread colour over because it's currently got black in it. And now I get to do what I do best, is flip in the right way. So I have sewn, um, I guess, ends onto these, like so. So these are even easier to flip than normal scrunchies. Did that one the wrong way. Just going to iron them down as well because they are a bit fluffy. I also didn't really want the straps to be too bulky where I've sewn, so I'm just cutting off the like corner bits and like kind of like doing it kind of closer to the edge. I've also triple stitched as well. Hopefully that will make it a little bit less bulky. I have to probably redo this part. Just flip them back in the right way. I can't tell you how much. I prefer this cricket little mini thing rather than an actual iron. It's just so much easier. Obviously, it wouldn't have been easy to do like the big lots of fabric that I had, but I do much prefer this than whipping out the big one. I've also got this trusty knitting needle that I use to just kind of push out those corners to make them square rather than kind of circular. Right. Beautiful, they're all my straps. Now I'm gonna sandwich these in I'm going to put the seams on the outside as well. That is like super wonky. Well, I might just fix that up.
The one thing about the Juki is it doesn't have like a little snip thing. It really needs one just so I can snip the bobbin. Because every time I go to get uh, like my scissors or something that are usually sitting here, they're always somewhere else because <laughs> I always move them. I'm just debating whether to do a top stitch. Actually, I might not just cause I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I really need to get my overlocker out too. Ah. I do that all the time and it just comes straight out. I am sewing a little bit further in just because there's like this weird looking thing. I don't know. We'll see if it fits before I cut any bits off. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So I'm really happy with the fit. I'm glad I did kind of put it pretty far in. I definitely did not need that extra seam allowance because, um, yeah, I put it in like over an inch. And there's still like a little bit of room and I can easily slip it on and off over my head. I don't think I'd be able to get it over my hips because I've got quite wide hips. Really loosely tied it as well so it's a bit wonky but that's okay. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to overlock these side seams then start doing the tears. Now I don't know what's going on. Something's come out of somewhere and I don't know how to rethread this. <laughs> Did I do that somehow? I don't know if I did this right, but we're going to find out. It's just kind of a scrap piece, I suppose. <laughs> Even better than what I did up here. I don't know. I might try and cut this on again. Just go straight down. Okay. Nice. I think I'm gonna need a bit more cut off from here. I'm still not very um, confident with overlocker and I still kind of don't know what I'm doing with it. Certainly not perfect, <laughs> but it will do. Pretty much with these ones, I'm just sewing the edges together and then doing the gathering. Or do I gather first? Ah, my brain is just not working. I 
Okay, sewing them together. Might overlock them together. I just did it the wrong way. <laughs> oh my god. the dress I do think it is a little bit bigger up the top so I don't know but I don't want to take it in again because last time it was gaping like this I took it in too much and then now it's like too tight so I think I'll just leave it because it is comfy like this but it, I don't know it doesn't gape like overly much I guess I would have definitely looked better with a lot more uh, gathering I just did not have the material I think I would have needed well over two meters maybe three meters so that's the length it's like a midi I guess rather than a maxi I actually quite like the length if I'll be honest I just think I'll definitely want more 
um, material because it's not a lot. And I don't know about the length of them. I don't know whether to maybe split these in half, like maybe do this still still this length, but rather than two tiers, make it three tiers. Just because it sits funny, I think I'd rather like a tier here and a tier here and then the final tier at the bottom, if that makes sense. I've got a dress exactly like this, um, which doesn't have much gathering uh, and it does sit funny like right here. And I think it's just because there's not enough material. But then again, maybe when I do make the next one, um, the colourful one, because I'll be using double the material, it will be much more will be out. <laughs> so I just think it might sit funny underneath my bottom. But I don't know. But it's super easy, I guess. But I did mess up this part. Like, I sew here twice the wrong way. <laughs> oh my god. Am I happy with it? I don't know. I think I need to go check it out up upstairs. Okay, yes. I actually really do like this dress. It is super roomy. I feel very comfy in it. I do not like clothes that are tight. Really bothers me. <laughs> so, yeah, there's obviously quite a lot of room in here. So, I think I'm just going to make it very similar to how I've made this one. I'm just going to have to work out, like, the patchwork. Because I don't want just, like, block colours. I want to do, like, you know, little ones, big ones... It's going to be a mission and a half, I think, to kind of, like, put it all together. Unless I just do blocks, but that's kind of boring. I'm going to take this back off and start on the next dress. Let me know what you guys think of this one. I do really like it. It's very plain. And I'll be able to wear it to market. I'm debating whether to wear it tomorrow because it's meant to be so hot. So we'll see. A dress for a market. That's, like, my favourite thing. My go-to. So I was thinking possibly do this way, but I'd much prefer something like this. But I'm not sure about which way to do it. I only have one yellow and I have minimal of like this lighter colour, which I was going to use to like kind of put where these black pieces are. I didn't have pencils where in this room. Anyway, so I'm thinking doing something like this or I do have a lot of pink. So really the pink should probably go on the bottom. So it'll be like that because that kind of goes flows nicer but I don't really like yellow and green together so I could do something like that I don't know <laughs> just gonna work out exactly what I need for each piece it was 10 inches by 19.5 now that was too big so I'm just gonna do 18 I just want it to sit up a little bit higher and then the next one I'm going to do I sorry I want these ones to be quite large because I've got plenty of fabric well I think I do so it'll be 18 times 1.5, which is 27 inches. I like the length of the one I've got. So that's about 30. I'm going to divide that. Well, it'll be 10 <laughs> if I divide by 3. I am taking a tiny bit off for that. Maybe I should do 11 inches because I am taking 2 inches off the top. I'm going to start off with the top again. <laughs>
absolutely love it it is exactly how I imagined it in my head like when I was searching for um, the tiered dresses I was putting in like patchwork dress or like multicolor gingham dresses I could not find anything that I could like replicate I just everything was just like it wasn't what I wanted and that they had like the big panels they didn't have like the mix and match or they had like kind of um, more diagonal, more sort of really mismatched panels, whereas I'm loving this one so much. And it was super, super easy to do. Glad I put more fabric on. If anything, I could have went for a little bit bigger uh, with the fabric. But yeah, I'm so excited for this dress. I love it so much. So I'm going to actually wear this one to an Easter egg hunt that I have at the end of the month, but I might wear it to a market in between then because I'm just obsessed. I might actually wear it to the Glengarry market because I have Vistaprint coming to film more content because I'm doing like this small business um, video thing. They already came and filmed like a massive segment at my house and now they're gonna come to that market and ask more questions and like film. So I think this dress will be absolutely perfect. It's part of the Me Made wardrobe colorful it's just bright and oh i just love it so much so let me know in the comments what you guys think of this dress and the other one the other one just looks so basic now i mean it is nice still i did wish i did have like that little bit more material to make yeah just make it a bit more gathered but that's okay uh if anything i might even make more of these dresses because they are so comfy and so loose for markets, just real easy to wear. I love dresses that are just, you know, you slip on. And this one was so simple to make once I got the hang of it. <laughs> I will tag the Essentials Club's video below 
um, so you guys can watch it firsthand because my explanation isn't really a tutorial. And as for the, I guess, where is it here? That's how I sort of laid them out. Very similar to that. I try not to put pieces that were the same together unless they're like on the sides. There might, there's a couple that match up, but not many. And I really love how I've also got like these planar pieces in to sort of break up the colors. So I did um, three greens, three blue, well, technically two greens and then the creamy color, two blues, creamy color. And then I did three pinks and I did do a small piece that I had left on each side just to make up the 60 inches because it was too short like with the pink I had. I probably could have made it up with other pieces of pink but just made more sense to do that. And of course it is reversible so I could wear it this way too. But I think I like it better with this like bright green piece here. But all in all, super obsessed. Love it. It took me... This one took me about two hours, maybe two and a half. Um, just because it was a little bit more complicated with all the pieces of fabric. But then again, I'll, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Like, it was pretty easy to, yeah, just cut two of the same colours and then replace one piece each with that lighter stone colour. I'm going to get going because I actually have heaps of micro prep to do and it is like 6 o'clock. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.